Hello and thanks for watching this short video on the first use experience now in the new QuickBooks Online. So I just signed up to a QuickBooks Online subscription. I think it was QuickBooks Online Essentials. And when you log in, either you create a user ID or you log in with an existing user ID, you're brought to this Welcome to QuickBooks Step 1 Setup Company window where you can go ahead and put in your company information, which I'll do right now. And notice as I'm entering this info, it will automatically start to populate. And then even a company logo here where you just kind of browse out and grab. So once you're done with step one and you've added your logo and filled out what your forms eventually have, go ahead and click save and next. You can also skip the step if you want below. And then the next uh, step is just kind of setting up QuickBooks where you can tell them about your industry and you can just kind of start typing. They have many different industries there. Um, and then if you sell products and services or just products or services, what type of company entity is it? And then do you want to import data from QuickBooks for Windows or Mac? And if you click yes, I'll show you on what it happens on the next uh, step. Now, you don't have to. You can always do that once you're in the new QuickBooks Online under the gear or tools menu. You can import QuickBooks desktop data. I don't have employees. And then you choose how you like to get paid. And watch, when I click Save and Next, it'll prompt me about importing QuickBooks data. And then you can click Continue to start that process, and it really just brings you into that same page I'll show you once we get into QuickBooks Online. So I'll return to the setup, and now, based on what I've filled out in Step 1 and Step 2, it's going to look at the businesses that use QuickBooks Online worldwide, and for general service-based businesses, it's going to set up my preferences and company settings for me based on what other businesses are using. Right? It's customizing invoices, it's selecting the best reports for me, and then turning on a lot of the preferences or company settings that you'd have to go into company settings to turn on anyway. So that's you know the best part. Of it. We're customizing QuickBooks for you, and then you click Save and Next. And then the final step is just to connect to your bank, which I'm not going to do, but that's where you do it. And then I'm going to go ahead and skip the step. And now I'm into QuickBooks Online. And just to show you guys, again, under the gear icon or tools menu, here's where I can import desktop data. And then you choose, you know, what version you're using. And then it'll tell you exactly what to do on the Windows side. There's an option under the company menu. So I hope that was helpful as far as uh, seeing a first use experience when you sign up for the new QuickBooks Online. Have a great day.